Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The wedding on Willow Tate's deathbed is back. In this April 13, 2023, General Hospital recap, Willow convinces Michael to move up their wedding date. On the General Hospital recap, Willow Tate expressed a desire to wed before her cancer returns. In this episode, Willow and Michael once more settled on a wedding day. Michael even responded when Sonny reached out to him. After listening to Victor's ideas to save the world, Spencer and Liesel took immediate action. Anna was shocked to discover Victor had a large number of hostages. Finally, when Portia needed him the most, Curtis was there for her. Like she has done countless times before, Willow immediately asked Michael to marry her. The strategy is as follows since she indicated she would be willing to wait until the following day because she was once more ready to die soon. Brooke Lynn, Amanda Seton, and Sasha, Sophia Matson, were prepared to make this momentous day happen. Despite how furious, disappointed, and afraid she was, Willow promised Michael she wasn't giving up when her friends carried Amelia upstairs. Sonny, Morris Bernard, promised Laura, Jenny Francis, at General Hospital, that he would find Victor in Macon Pay. Then Dante, Dominic Zamprogna, broke the unpleasant news that Spencer and Trina appeared to be involved in Victor's issue as well. Laura was incensed by all that was going on because despite her warnings to everyone, including Spencer, about what Victor was capable of, no one seemed to take her warning seriously. Between the police and Sonny, Dante assured them that they would find Victor. Sonny was forced to acknowledge that his first priority was helping Lisa locate Victor so that she might save Willow's, Catelyn McMullen, life. Sonny acknowledged that Mike's, Max Gale, position, and Willow's situation were similar, and Dante assured him that he could be there for Michael, Chad Duell, in the same way that he was with Mike. Sonny wasn't so sure because Michael wouldn't talk to him, but Dante urged him to give it a shot. Sonny called Michael as a result, and Michael listened to his father promise to be there for him whenever he needed it. While Michael was quiet, he did let Sonny know that he had heard him. The stars were in their eyes as Trina, Tabiana Ali, and Spencer, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, sought to figure out how to get Trina out of Spencer's stateroom. Trina insisted that they could succeed since they work well together. During breakfast, Spencer was supposed to create a distraction in the dining room. Trina sneaked out of the room as Ambrose arrived to get Victor, Charles Shaughnessy, for the substantial supper. Even though Victor was merely happy to have breakfast with Liesel, Kathleen Gaddy, she was still upset about being on board the Haunted Star. Spencer entered and attempted to act shocked when he saw Liesel, but Victor warned her that he had guards stationed all around. Spencer demanded to know Victor's true intentions. Victor emphasized that the goal of all of this was to herald in a new period for the entire human race, not just for the Cassidines. Victor mentioned the harm that people are undoubtedly causing to planet Earth as expected, blaming it on selfishness and narrow-mindedness. He correctly noted that if humans are allowed to continue on their current path, there won't be resources available for future generations, so he and Mikos came up with a strategy years ago to stop humanity from destroying itself. Mikos turned out to be an opportunist, but Victor was committed to completing this task. He was prepared to use the backup of the 1981 weather machine, which Victor and Mikos apparently had, in order to save the entire world. They kept a disease in their underground bunkers that could kill off a large portion of people, keeping the population under control. To make sure that his descendants, Spencer and Ace, are resistant to this disease, he needs Liesel's assistance. Spencer's uncle's mad science scheme caught Trina off guard, so she was waiting in the wings for his distraction when he abruptly leaped up and put a knife to Liesel's neck, signaling that Trina should flee. When Jordan, Tanisha Harper, and Dante asked Portia, Brooke Care, questions regarding Trina, she grew even more disturbed because she was still panicking over not being able to contact Trina via her cell phone. Jordan joined Portia and Curtis, Donald Turner, for a discussion at Portia's office. 
When they learned that Trina might be with Spencer and Victor, they were astounded. Portia nearly lost her mind at the thought of that situation. But all the Portia facts broke down in tears position. when she realized they might be on an untraceable haunted star. But at least her own estranged husband Curtis was there to console and support her. Trina would return home. Tudis assured her, even if he had to save her himself. Anna, Fanola Hughes, opened her eyes, which thrilled and reassured Valentin, James Patrick Stewart. As they reunited, he said that God must be a fan of Anna Devane. Valentin claimed that he was the reason Anna was shot in the first place after she pointed out that he had saved her life. Anna, who was sobbing uncontrollably, acknowledged that she had seen the faces of everyone she loved, including Valentine, before going unconscious. She simply wasn't prepared to leave them just yet. Then, when Anna pressed him for details regarding Victor, he was compelled to reply that they hadn't yet apprehended him. When Anna learned that Victor had fled with hostages, she was astounded and eager to leave her hospital bed and assist in locating them. To find out what Victor was up to with the hostage option and the necklace code, Anna switched into detective mode. At least Lucy's unforgettable nurse's ball entrance made Anna glad to hear about. We don't really anticipate him caring one way or the other. Yet if Victor Cassadine's current kidnapping spree leads in Willow's demise, general hospital viewers will be especially furious with him. And it might actually occur since Liesel, the only person whose bone marrow has the potential to save Wiley and Amelia's mother, is among the group of Port Charles citizens whom he has kidnapped. Sincerely, doesn't the unfortunate creature merit a break? Michael Sweetheart has been taking what seems like endless steps forward and backwards. First, she conceives. Great. Sadly, she also develops cancer. Good news. She gives birth to a lovely baby girl. She has resisted therapy for so long, though, that she is now on the verge of passing away. Fortunately, her biological mother is still alive and is willing to contribute bone marrow. Unfortunately, Nenon is not a donor match. But hey, Aunt Liesel's a match. But Victor, who, has taken her off by himself. Any remaining sentiments Victor may have for Liesel could ultimately work in Willow's advantage. She might choose to make the ultimate sacrifice and leave town and Scotty in order to reunite with the insane man she once shot if he permits her to stay in Port Charles long enough to give him some bone marrow. How do you feel? Would Willow actually be a victim of Victor's crazy plan at General Hospital? These GNURL hospital spoilers don't let up on the action for a second. Victor reveals the situation to Obrecht. Valentin is overwhelmed. Trina and Spencer plot their escape. Jordan and Dante maintain their optimism. Sonny convinces Laura that the Cassadine would cover the cost, and Willow has a surprise proposal for Michael. Spencer and Trina have a strategy to sneak away from Victor and board the haunted star, but it might not be as simple to execute as they had planned. Spencer tells her, Someone's coming, as they hear a sound coming from the other side of the door. Portia was informed by Jordan and Dante who had just arrived at the hospital that Trina is probably one of Victor's hostages and that the doctor is powerless to save her daughter. Jordan says, There's something you can do. Dante is also upbeat at the moment. He says to someone, I wouldn't be so confident about it. Valentin feared he would lose Anna when she was fatally shot by Victor in the chest. But now that she has recovered from surgery and opened her eyes, he is waiting at her hospital bedside. With tears, he murmurs, Welcome back. Obrecht, one of her ex-numerous lovers' kidnapping victims, isn't too thrilled to be sitting down for breakfast with Victor on the Haunted Star, particularly considering that she was scheduled to provide bone marrow to save Willow's life. The Cassidine says, Sacrifices have to be made sometimes. Laura fears Victor will elude capture and escape justice since she believes he is sailing to Venezuela. But Sonny reassures her that won't happen. He promises he's going to pay, more than he has ever paid in the past. Willow had turned down Michael's proposal of marriage because she wanted to get married when her leukemia had gone into remission. 
She has changed her mind, though, after learning that she might not live long enough to have the bone marrow transplant. She says anxiously, I want to get married. Today.